Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gavin and I am doing a different kind of video today. I want, well not today, it's going to go over the next couple of weeks, but one of the best things about the BookTube community is how generous and amazing you all are. I really want to highlight that in this video. I want to open the gifts that you guys have been sending me all month long and just talk about you guys non-stop and I have a couple of parcels I want to open for you in this first part of the video. I also got this amazing jumper from Paige. I will leave everybody's details down below, their links and everything. Go check them out, go follow them, go show them all of the love because I love them all so much. Paige sent me my new favourite jumper. I'm supposed to be leaving for work in 20 minutes but who did this? I know exactly what this is. There's one thing on my wish list that this could be and I know exactly what it is. So I thought I would do a quick update to show you open, to show you or me opening it. I've literally need to leave for work in like 15, 20 minutes and I'm still in my pajamas. But uh, oh, I might wear this for work because oh, I know exactly what it is. Oh my God, who sent it? Ah, that's not a note. But oh, oh my God, I will need to put on Twitter. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, do you want to build a snowman? Yes, I do. Look, I'm already wearing all up. Oh, this is amazing. This is such a Christmassy, lovely jumper. Uh, it smells okay as well, so I can wear it now. Oh, I'm going to put it straight on. I'm going to put on Twitter who sent this. I will shout them out in the next vlog update. Don't you worry. Oh, and it feels lovely as well. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to whoever sent this. I did only recently just reopen my wish list and put this on it. I didn't think anyone would buy me an Olaf jumper though. Oh, right. I've got to go because I've got to get ready for work. My bus is in like 15 minutes. So I got this on Thursday. I wore this Thursday and Friday at work. And I'm wearing it today, it's Sunday, but I'm only wearing it to like lounge around in a bit. But also for this video, I don't know if that's what you guys want to say, but it is going to be like a bit of a book haul because obviously I'm hauling these books. It may be jumpers, it might be a jumper haul as well. I don't know. So I'm really excited. I have had these for a few days and I've been dying to open them. I've been dying to see who sent them so I can thank them. So Christmassy and great to sort of open these and share them with you. So let's get into the first one. I can't remember which one came first, but I'm just gonna open this one first. And it is literally like Christmas morning every single time. I only recently reopened my wish list as well. Shut it down because I was getting a lot and I still don't really have room, but you know, <laughs> it's Christmas. Also, if things don't come with parcels, I will try and find out who it is and still shout them out in the video, so don't worry about that. Oh, this one's from Becca, not Becca from the books. Um, to add your Frozen collection, hope you enjoy Becca from Becca. Oh, oh my gosh, I think I know what it is because there's only one Frozen book that I don't have right now that is on my wish list, and it is Conceal, Don't Feel, Don't Let Them Know. Well, now they know. Sorry, my voice is a little bit bad as well right now. I have a bit of a cold. It does bother me. But this is Concealed Don't Feel by Jen Colonita. It is a twisted tale, a Disney twisted tale. I need to start reading these, man. I have a few of them now. I've been gifted them from a few of you guys. So excited. This one is the Frozen version of it. What if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? As sisters, I feel like that would be hard to do, so I'm really interested. It seems a bit shorter than the other ones, it's just over 300 pages. As the future queen of Arendelle, Princess Elsa leads a life full of expectations and responsibilities, not to mention questions. What type of ruler will she be? When will she have to pick a suitor? And why has she always harboured this feeling that some critical piece of her is missing? Following the unexpected death of her parents, Elsa is forced to answer those questions sooner than she'd hoped, becoming the sole ruler of her kingdom and growing lonelier than ever. But when mysterious powers begin to reveal themselves, Elsa starts to remember fragments of her childhood that seem to have been erased, fragments that include a familiar looking girl. Determined to fill the void she has always felt, Elsa must take a harrowing journey across her icy kingdom to undo a terrible curse and find the missing princess of Arendelle. Ooh. It kind of sounds like a bit of a reverse to Frozen because in Frozen it's Anna who saves Elsa. In this one it seems like Elsa is the one who's going to be going after Anna, albeit unknowingly. I love the cover as well. It's so beautiful. Amazing. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So thank you so much, Becca, for sending me this. Oh, what a great way to start off especially since it's so Frozen themed with the jumper as well. Ah, oh, oh, this is amazing. And the next parcel, there's two books in here, I think. So, oh, Tracy, 
Uh, these are from Tracy and I love Tracy so much. She always sends me things though. This is like probably the 28th book sh she sent me. She sent two in this. Told you I sent you something for Christmas. Happy reading card from Tracy. Now I finally got to elf you. I hope you have an amazing Christmas. Tracy. She finally got to elf me. Tracy, get me all hot and bothered day. <laughs> elf me. Oh. Let's see what we have here. She sent me two books in a series. It's a children's book series that I have seen around a lot. And these are the Norway Emporium and the Elsewhere Emporium by Ross McKenzie. So excited about this. I've just gotten a proof copy of his upcoming book called Evernight. So I'm really excited about that. But I really wanted to read his other books as well. I think the Norway Emporium is his most famous one. A mysterious shop from Norway can appear at any time in any city. It's a magical labyrinth of rooms contains wonders beyond belief. But to enter you must pay a price. To me it sounds a little bit like Night Circus. I've never read the Night Circus but that is a sort of circus that appears at night or something doesn't it? So this is like a magical shop that appears at any time in any city. Oh, it just sounds so magical. And it is a Blue Peter Book Award winner. This is just, oh, this is so awesome. I'm so excited. And it ha I like the cover because it has like this little cut out there. And I just think it's just, it looks so magical. Same with the sequel, which is great. I love that it's kept the same thing. It just looks amazing. It just absolutely looks amazing. Welcome to the Carnival of Wonders. And they're not too thick either. These are going to be so magical and wonderful to get through. I love. And just like kind of look at the chapter headings and stuff as well. <sighs> Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. I feel like I've said your name that many times. But I will link Tracy down below because she is just an absolute gem. An absolute asset to booktube. Just absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. You're just absolutely amazing. So those were the first two presents that you guys have sent me. Thank you so much. I hope this video wasn't too pretentious. Like, I literally do just want to highlight the amazing people that you guys are and how generous this community is. It would be too long to put my vlogs and I don't know what my vlogs are going to be like anyway this month with my problems with my camera. So I still want to unbox everything you guys send me and show you guys out so I'm doing this separate video for it. Thank you Becca and Tracy for these. I am genuinely so excited about them. Okay so it's been a couple of hours and I did get another parcel. The deliveries come at such a weird time here. I think that's with Christmas coming up and sometimes they leave parcels like right outside my door but I did manage to catch the postman before he had a chance to do that. This is like a bit of a bigger one so I want to say who it's from. There are three books in here. It's right, these are from Claire and I knew that these were coming from Claire. I didn't know if these would be the ones. She sent me a message yesterday to say that they should have come last night but they got delayed. So thank you so much Claire for sending me these books. I don't know what they are yet. Claire's such a angel. She is always so supportive, not just of me but of other people in the booktube community. Booktubers and the people who watch booktube. She's just I can't imagine booktube without her, so thank you so much for sending me these Christmas presents. I absolutely think the world of you, thank you. So I think these are going to be middle grade books. Because the first note says, to the master of middle grade and one of my angels of the pages, thank you for everything and wishing you a very merry Christmas. Gav, you are the best, you really are. Never doubt yourself as you really are someone special. Have the best Christmas and I look forward to a fantastic 2020. Thank you again for everything. Couldn't buy one without the others. Hope you enjoy the series from Claire. Ooh, well thank you so much for all those kind words, honestly. Oh, gets me right here, it does. And thank you so much for everything you've done for me this year. Seriously, all your comments, all your kindness, everything. I, I need to stop gushing <laughs> and see what these books are. Excellent, I literally just put these on my wish list as well. It, oh, she got me all three. Oh, I've heard so many great things about the series and the author in general. Okay, so Claire got me The Last Wild and The Dark Wild and The Wild Before by Piers Torde. I think this series is going to be phenomenal because I've heard so many great things from people at work saying stuff about this, you know, customers and saying that it's one of their favourite series. But this is the story of a boy named Kester. He's extraordinary, but he doesn't know that yet. All he knows at this very moment is this. There is a flock of excited pigeons at his bedroom. Oh my god, that would be quite terrifying to be honest. They are talking to him, what? And his life will never be quite the same again. Okay, I am intrigued. I am very intrigued. I mean, I've been well and truly spoiled. Claire, I cannot wait to message you and tell you thank you for these as well. Seriously, 
Oh, and you got me all three as well. Like that is just, oh, it blows me away. I am so excited about these. I really wish that I had kept these for Christmas and just opened them on Christmas Day or something. But this is gonna be like the Christmassy kind of vlog gifts that you guys have given me. We call Christmas. Is that what I'm gonna call this video? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. Yeah, this is a work in progress. Add these to your wish lists. Like, I, well, I mean, I don't know if they're any good, really, but I think they will be. I think they're gonna be awesome. And it's middle grade, so I'm just gonna absolutely thrive. Thank you again so much, Claire. Genuinely, genuinely love you. Thank you. Hey, so it's been a week since the last little unboxing for you guys. I have some more to open and some more amazing people to shout out. Thank you so much for sending me these. Genuinely, genuinely didn't need to, but I'm gonna get into it. Firstly, I do wanna show that I got this sent to me by Whitney Avalon because I'm one of her patrons. And this is also signed by her there and by Alyssa Preston, who plays the Queen of Hearts in the Princess Rap Battle video she did as the Wicked Witch versus the Queen of Hearts. Check out those videos, they're so funny. I love the Princess Rap Battles. There is Elsa versus Snow White. There is Belle versus Cinderella. And Cinderella is played by Sarah Michelle Gellar from Buffy, and she did Anna versus Rapunzel, and Eliza Dushku plays Rapunzel. I, I wasn't expecting this actually, but I guess being one of her patrons, she sent me this, and I'm just so thankful, thank you so much. Whitney Avalon, I love your videos so much. This one I know is a card from one of my friends, personal friends, I don't know if I should show this, because it could be intense. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you the cover. Ho 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 mo. <laughs> I'm not read what's inside it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. <gasps> Thank you so much, Charlotte. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, okay, I need to send her a message. Okay, I need to show you this. I'll. Oh, can you see? Look at that. That is beautiful. I love that calligraphy. On the back, it says it's from Kirsty. <gasps> a stroke of genius. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I knew this was coming. She sent me a message on Instagram. By the way, Kirsty, I love you. Let's have a look. Oh, it's, oh, it's several things. Oh, look, I believe it's on bookmark. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I've got to use it straight away. There's also another bookmark with a lovely little design on. Oh, stun. I love those. Oh, Howl Ate My Heart bookmark and I absolutely love it. I think that's in reference to Howl's Moving Castle. I am, I'm in love. He did eat my heart. Oh, it's a card as well. Look, Merry Christmas. Oh, before I show that as well, actually, I like warm hugs. Sorry, I'm like not making any sense with this. Hang on. Like I've got no rhyme and reason. I like warm hugs. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, now for the card. Have, have a woofly Christmas. Can you see? Sorry, like, this, like, whole situation ain't great, I'm sorry. Oh, I love it, I love it, okay, I'm gonna read it. I'll not read what's inside, but there's a bit of writing here, so I definitely wanna, wanna read this, okay. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kirsty. Oh, you've hit me. Right in the tits. <laughs> as I like to say. Sorry, I have to laugh or I'll cry. <laughs> Thank you so much for this parcel, like, you didn't have, you, you didn't have to do this for me, but I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you. Oh, Whew. and I will be sending you a message on Instagram as soon as I finish this clip. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have another hand sent one. It's very, it's very flexible. Like, is it clothing? Like, is it, I, to be fair, do any clothes? But this is from, I know exactly who this is. This is from Victoria. I believe it's Icy Reads 74. I think that's the one. She was my first ever giveaway winner and she lives in Lafayette in, I think it's Texas or I might be wrong there. But she was my first ever giveaway winner. So I sent her the books from the middle grade kind of um, video when I hit 1k subscribers since joining booktube. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, this, right, there's a long note. There's a note as well, but I'm gonna, oh. I've never had one of these before. It's a book bag. Oh, it's beautiful. But no, is it a book blanket? What do people call this? It's, some kind of book sleeve. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. I love the colour. 
I love the colour. If I was wearing my Olaf jumper again, but I also have a, a letter as well. Oh, I love it. Yes, I see read 74. Oh my god, I am so good. I am so good. See, I remember my lovely friends. <gasps> Shut the front door. It's a hand sewn book sleeve. I know it isn't professionally made, but it's 100% unique. I wouldn't, I don't care if it's not professionally made. Like, this means the most. You want to find another like, I, I won't find another like you. <laughs> yeah, as your first ever giveaway winner. Oh, I'm, her, I'm Victoria's first international recipient. Oh, I love it. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a moment. <laughs> wow. Okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna have to put this down otherwise. Ugh. But it feels so amazing. I can't, but... Oh, thank you so, so much. This, I, I only sent you a few books. You didn't have to hand sew me this. I love it so much though. I am going to keep this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, this booktube community, man. Oh, okay. I have a few parcels from Amazon that must be from my wish list. So I'm gonna go with the one that I think I got first out of these two. <laughs> it's from Jade. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jade. I love you. Merry Christmas to my fave. I had to get you this. I love it. Therefore, you must have the best festive season. Love you lots from Jade. <gasps> The Eye of the North by Sinead O'Hall. Oh, I literally just mentioned this in my Alcray Jr. unboxing that Christy sent me. And I got the Star Spun Web in hardback. That's like the Alcray Jr. one. Oh, I really wanted this. I wanted this so bad. So it is about Emmeline is prepared for everything until her parents mysteriously disappear. Fearing for her life, she flees on a ship to France where she befriends a stowaway called Thing. But even he can't help her rescue the clutches of the villainous Dr. Siegfried Boer. Or Boer. Something like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him Dr. Boa, because I think that just sounds a little bit better. Dr. Boa is bound for the far north to summon a mythical monster from the deep. And he's not the only one plotting to unleash the creature. In a frozen land with danger at every turn, can Emmeline and Thing reunite in time to save the world? The race is on. Jade, I love you so much. Thank you. Oh, you didn't need to send me anything else. Like, seriously, you've done so much for me. And me and Jade are doing a book club together next month as well. So definitely tune in for that. It's The Girl Who Stole an Elephant by Nisrana Farouk. Yay. Thank you, Jade. And this one actually came today. So I want to see who sent this one. Ooh. Ah! It's Arisha Kawai, aka Oscar. I know I am saying it wrong. I'm sorry. But hugs from England. I absolutely love you. Hi Gavin, sorry for being away. I have been in a strange mood lately and I'm not watching much booktube. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and I hope this book is as amazing as it sounds. Hugs from Barcelona. Oscar, I hope you're having a much better time now and I'm sending you so much love and hugs and I'm sorry to hear you've been in a bit of a strange mood. I hope, I hope Christmas will bring some cheer and joy into your life and honestly, thank you so much for whatever you've sent me. Oh yay. Oh, oh it's so fluffy. I love it. It's No Body Shows in Syria by Catherine Bruton. I have seen this one around this year because I've been reading a few contemporaries that deal with the really important issues, especially to do with refugees, as like The Boy in the Back of the Class by Anjali Q. Raff. That one has been so eye-opening and absolutely loved it. So I put this one on my wish list because I am so excited. This one is about Aya who is 11 years old and has just arrived in Britain with her mum and baby brother seeking asylum from war in Syria. When Aya stumbles across a local ballet class, the formidable dance teacher spots her exceptional talent and believes that Aya has the potential to earn a prestigious ballet scholarship. But at the same time, Aya and her family must fight to be allowed to remain in the country to make a home for themselves and to find Aya's father separated from the rest of the family during the journey from Syria. Oh, this is going to break my heart. With the state that Britain is in at the minute, it's going to be eye-opening. It's going to pull on my heartstrings. But I just, I'm so, so thankful for Oscar for sending me this. Thank you so much. I genuinely don't deserve, I don't deserve. Oh, thank you so much. And seriously, I hope you're starting to feel a lot better now. Okay, this one I was going to save because I know this one's from Ashley at A Frolic Through Fiction who I love with all my heart. 
And the fact that she sent me something like this. Oh my god. So I'm gonna open it. I hope this is alright, Ashley. I'm opening it now, like two weeks before Christmas. There's a lot of sellotape. That's one thing. God. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I got it. I love that from this we have a box. Ooh, with Ashley's address on it. Shall I show you guys where she lives? <laughs> What? This is a proper package. Ashley! Oh, okay, okay, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Right, there is a card, so I'll open the card first. Oh my god, Ashley, I love you, thank you. I like the inner version of you better. Oh my god, girl, same. I kid, I kid, we yeah, are right. Merry Christmas, hope you have the best winter period, you little ray of sunshine. Hope you enjoy these books when we force you to read them with us. You need to experience the mountain shaking. Love you, Ashley. Ashley, I love you. But what? Okay, so we're gonna be re we're gonna, definitely gonna be reading these then, whatever they are. But firstly, I've got some matchmakers gingerbread flavor. Oh wow! You know what? I need to take a photo of this. I need to take a photo of this before I open any of this. I can't believe I can't believe it's not butter. Where did I put my phone? Am I sitting on it? Got it. Oh my god! And she's <gasps> look. I couldn't have. She's literally just replied to one of my tweets. Can you see? Can you see? Look, that is fair. Look, one minute ago. <gasps> How does she know I'm opening this? Right, I'm ta I've taken a photo. Oh my gosh, okay. Mm. That was good. I couldn't taste anything at first. I was thinking, wait, there's no taste. And then it kicks in at the end. <gasps> That's really nice. And because she wants me to be a fat bitch. Galaxy, galaxy chocolate. Smooth milk, y'all. For my smooth ass milk. Oh my god, I should have saved these for Christmas Day. Okay, so you're reading these books with me and Becca, it has been decided. And look, they're in, look, there's three books in here and they've all been gift wrapped. I feel so unworthy. I feel so unworthy. Oh, let's open it. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe you've done this. <gasps> Sorry, I've just choked. <laughs> I think this is the first one. How did I know to oh, to be fair, just have that on? So maybe that's why I opened it first. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. <clears throat> I read the first one of Glass Book years ago. I think I only got halfway through. I, I did enjoy it at the time. Like, there was no hate. I was just, I wasn't in that much of a reading mood. God, I think I've hurt my throat. I also haven't read A Court of Thorns and Roses. So the other ones must be these books. Oh, I am so... Right, let's open these other bad boys. I can't believe. I can't believe. Oat of Wings and Ruin. Is this the second book? Oh no, it's the third book. I was going to say, how have I gotten this like in the perfect order? But I'm not perfect, so it didn't happen. <coughs> in a Court of Mist and Fury. And that is the second book, isn't it? Let's double check inside. Yes! <laughs> the first one is My Kind of Length. And then the second and third one are just bricks. I don't care though. Yes, yes, yes. Let's buddy read these. I am so excited. I might read these before the Throne of Glass books then. Or I might read Throne of Glass and Court of Thorn and Roses in January. Oh, I just have a Sarah J Mask kind of year, you know? Thank you so much, Ashley. This is so overwhelming. <laughs> also, I did open this in my Cozy Little Readathon vlog. But Beth Reekles, who wrote The Kissing Booth, sent me the second one, which comes out in January, and she's written in it, and sent me a card as well. All of the books, the amazing card, oh my god, the book bag, like everything. So thank you so much, Victoria, thank you so much, Kirsty. thank you so much, Jade, thank you so much, Oscar, and thank you so much, Ashley, for sending me these books. Also, thank you, Beth, as well. I'm gonna go cry. Hey guys, I've lost count to what part I'm on but I do have some more things to show you. And I have these three and this, which won't fit in the shot, I'm sure. <laughs> so I will get to that one last. I do wanna say I did have these sent to me from Sophie Anderson, the author of The House with Chicken Legs and The Girl Who Speaks Bear. And I'm not gonna lie, I've already ate half of them. <laughs> 
Uh, but she wrote, To Gavin, with love and thanks for all your amazing support, Sophie Anderson and family. And I am a huge, huge fan of Sophie Anderson. I love shouting out her books and recommending them in store. So thank you so much for these. Genuinely don't know how to repay you for this kindness, but uh, the fact that you would send me Honestly, some amazing chocolate. This chocolate is absolutely delicious. Some of the best chocolate I've ever tasted. Just saying. So it's Hotel Chocolat. Simply Thanks on there as well. So, uh. Next, I have this parcel, which came a few days ago. I know exactly what it is. It's from Summer, who messaged me asking me to put this on my wish list so that they could send me it. And it is Wish by Barbara O'Connor at Hooked on Books. She messaged me on Twitter and she really wanted to send me this because this book made her cry, apparently. It's a little bit of a long description on the back here, so bear with. Charlie Reese has been making the same secret wish every day since fourth grade, but when she is sent to live with family she barely knows, it seems unlikely that her wish will ever come true. That is, until she meets Wishbone, a skinny stray dog who captures her heart, and Howard, a neighbor boy who proves surprising in lots of ways. Suddenly Charlie is in serious danger of discovering that what she thought she wanted may not be at all what she needs. That sounds like it's going to break my heart. If it's going to involve a dog, oh don't, oh don't, I'm already, I, I, I'm already getting emotional. Summer loved it, Summer's daughter loved it, and I am just, I'm so excited to read this now. And it's quite short as well, which will be such a breeze to get through. Yeah, 227 pages, and look at the cover as well on this. Doesn't that look like a cover that's gonna make you cry? It's amazing. I love, love, love it when people send me stuff that they've loved. I mean, I hope that when I read it that I love it too, and you won't get offended if I don't, sorry. <laughs> but I definitely love the recommendations of books I've never heard of, and I've never heard of this before someone mentioned it. I'm just so grateful. Like, thank you so much for sending me this. I will link Summer's Twitter down below. Thank you so much. <laughs> Next, I have this beautifully packaged Amazon package. Next I have this Amazon package that's beautifully gift wrapped and it is from Confuzzle Bev. <laughs> Bev, what have I told you about buying me stuff? Oh, thank you so much. To Gavin, I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. Merry Christmas from Confuzzle Bev. Oh, thank you. Like, just automatically thank you. 10 out of 10. I love it already. Let's find out what it is. Oh god, it's stuck. <gasps> yes! Right, The Legend of Podkin One Ear by Kieran Larwood. This was recommended by Sophie Anderson, and I've seen it around my store all the time, and there's a new one that's just come out. I think it's the fourth book called Uki and the Outcasts. Is it Uki or Uki or something like that? And it just looks so phenomenal. I have been dying to read this ever since Sophie Anderson recommended it for believe -a Back when rabbits were small, twitchy, terrified things, warrants were little more than a collection of holes and tunnels. Now there are entire villages and cities built under the earth, completely out of sight. Podkin is the son of Lopkin, chieftain of the Munbury Warren. He wasn't a hero back then, he hadn't slain any giant rabbits or formed any robber bands, or and he still has both of his ears. He was also perhaps the laziest, most spoiled son of a chieftain in the whole five realms. But when his warren is attacked by the Gorm, the most terrifying threat to rabbit kind, Podkin has to step up and so a leader is born. <gasps> oh, it looks and sounds so fantastic and I am loving getting all of these children's books. Oh, my collection for children's books has just grown phenomenally this year and I'm discovering more and more amazing new favourites. And I think this is going to be a genuinely good one. So thank you so, so much, Confuzzle Bear, for sending me this. I am just, just, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. And now onto the big parcel that I will not be able to fit on the screen. But I, I don't know what it is. This is from Pris. Y'all know I love Pris. Pris, I love you. Thank you so much. I, I put this on my wish list, but I didn't think anybody would ever buy me it. So this is... Pretty good. Oh my god. Oh, it's huge. It is huge, but it is a huge cardboard cutout of Elsa and Anna. I have to assemble this, so you're gonna have to stay tuned. <laughs> I will I will do that now. Oh, it's so pretty. I genuinely don't know where I'm gonna be putting this. I have no room in my room. I have no room for another bookcase or anything like that, so I don't mind. For some weird reason, it also smells quite nice. Oh, yes. Right, now how do I do this? Where's the instructions? Oh, 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 oh my god, it is huge! Oh, oh. <laughs> this obviously comes off it. <laughs> so, sorry, people. Oh gosh. 
stuff. Okay, I've given myself a little bit of a cardboard cut. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Like group pick. Yeah, they're just looking at each other. They leave me out here. So good. Wow. Thank you so much, Pris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you so much, Sophie, Summer, Bev, and Pris for sending me those. Oh, genuinely, you guys make my Christmas so much more magical. And this is my first year on BookTube, and it's just. Oh, blows me. I need to stop giving these long outros to each part. It's going to end up being a really long video, so I'll sign off there and I will see you close out of Christmas. So it's another update, but I do have some things. Obviously, that's why I'm showing you. I have a couple of things from my Secret Santa at work. I also have a couple of things that Becca sent me from Becca in the books. Absolutely love that girl. I also have a couple of things to show you that publishers have sent me. So I have Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tommy Adiemi. And I've read the first one, Children of Blood and Bone, and I gave that one three stars. I originally gave it four stars, but time has kind of affected my rating a bit. So I requested this because, one, it's out in hardback, and I have the first one in paperback. So I do want the paperback, but I don't want to pay for the hardback because it won't match my collection. So I was like, can I get a free one? And I got one. So this was sent by Harper. Voyager, thank you so much. I don't know what I'm going to think about this because I only liked the first one I didn't love it and I have been keeping away from reviews of this one so I don't know if people have been enjoying this or not so let me know if you've read this I am interested in reading it there is a Waterstones exclusive as well but obviously I got the free one sent from the publisher so thank you for this I also have a proof of The Court of Miracles by Kesta Grant and you probably won't be able to see it that well because it's really shiny on the cover it says this city is a dark and lawless place and we are its children so this one is a glittering criminal underworld a heroine who will bring a crash down. The revolution has failed. Paris is a dark and lawless place. To protect themselves, the city's wretched have gathered into guilds of thieves, smugglers, assassins and worse. Together they form the Miracle Court. When Nina's sister is stolen by one of the cruelest lords, she joins the thieves guild to get her back and there she learns that even the wretched have rules. She'll break every one of those rules to get her sister back, even if it tears the Miracle Court apart. The intrigue of Six of Crows, the heart of Caraval, the drama of Les Rob, the beginning of a dazzling new trilogy. So it is a mix of Les Miserables and The Jungle Book, apparently. So very excited about this one. Thank you so much for sending me this. Really genuinely cannot wait to read it. And now on to the good stuff. So I'm going to open my secret Santa gift now. I have no idea who got me these. And I don't think opening this will help me find out, but I will open it for you. I mean, even though you guys don't know who my work colleagues are, but love them a bit. And the first gift is Lynn chocolate, of course. Like, you cannot have a secret Santa without chocolate. And then I have this as well. <laughs> I know exactly what it is. And I'm looking at the back of it. I should have known. The Frozen 2 official 2020 calendar. Now, I did need a calendar, to be fair. This is beautiful. I do love it. I've seen this before, and I was like, should I get myself this? But I'm glad I didn't. So, this is just absolutely perfect. Whoever my secret Santa was at work, thank you so much. Ooh, on May, I have both the sisters. May is my birthday the entire month, not just one day, the entire month of May is my birthday. So that is good. And finally, 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 it is Becca's stuff and Becca, oh, just words, words fail me. Words really do fail me. And I haven't even known them yet. I know what one of them is because I chose it. And the other one, this candle I is a surprise. And I am really excited. Oh gosh, she's even wrapped it up. She has wrapped it up. What a gem. But Becca does have a candle making website, Grace and Honey. So check it out, honey. Oh, and look at the mess you've made, Becca. Oh my gosh. Look, she's got like this straw stuff and it's gone fucking everywhere. Merry fucking Christmas to you too. Oh, I don't mind really. Let's just get rid of that. Let's have a look, see which candle it is. She knows what my favourite one is anyway. 
Oh, my babe. I kind of had a feeling she might do this because she's done it for other booktubers for like their birthdays. And she just gave Ashley one for Christmas where she has literally... Oh, she... Oh, she's literally made me a, my own candle. So there it is, my YouTube header. So it, it has honeydew, kiwi, mandarin, watermelon and cherry. That is a lot of scents, girl. Oh my God, I can't wait to smell it. Oh my God, the writing's gone blue. All right, I can't wait to sniff. Oh, although I am starting to get a bit cold, so... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's so fruity and I love it. Oh my God. Oh, if you know anything about me, I mean, this is to do with alcohol, but I love fruity cocktails. Like, they're my favourite. Oh, this smells like the best fruity cocktail I've ever had. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, Becca. Thank you. And it's my favourite blue as well. Don't want to use it, but I kind of do because it smells so good. Oh, my God. And this is, a, this must be, like, an exclusive, like, the only version of it ever. The fact that Becca takes her time to make a specific candle for me with all new scents. No, I absolutely love your candles so, so much. You made me my believe on candles, and I still have them, and I will never, ever get rid of them. And this next one, I know exactly what it is, but I'm going to show you. I will get some scissors. Let's get into this. I have seen these on BookTube. There we go. I have it open. I know exactly what it is. I think Becca's been wearing this as well. So it has some Becca scent on. It's just going to be so much better. I was going to call it Ambrosia for some reason. But it is an Emposia blanket. <laughs> oh, I already love it. I already love it. I picked the design I wanted as well. Becca asked me what design I wanted. So I told her. And oh, wow. I did originally say this on Ashley's channel. Shout out, Ashley. And she looked like Little Red Riding Hood. I don't know what I'm going to look like. I'm going to probably look like Luke fucking Skywalker or something. I don't even think that made sense. Oh, 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 oh. oh hang on. Right, how do I do this? How do I... And then I'll show you what design I picked. Right, okay. How in the world? Oh, I... Oh, this is so difficult. Oh, fuck. This is like a puzzle. Oh, I can't even get it fucking on. Am I doing it right? Oh, hang on. There we go. There, say, say, oh my gosh. It is it is like a, like a hood, like a cape. Oh, I'm never going to wash it if Becca's had it on. It smells like sex. No, I'm joking. Oh, this is so, oh my God, this is so cozy. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. Perfect for right now because it's absolutely freezing in my house. But I want to show you the back. I picked the classic design. Like, can you actually see anything? So, yeah, you can probably see some books there. Uh, let's turn it around so you can see this side as well. Oh, I'm gonna, just going to read some more and just keep this on. And just, oh, get warm. Nice and warm. <sighs> thank you so much, Becca. Also, thank you so much, my secret Santa. And thank you, publishers, for sending me free books. I always love it. Hey guys, time for the last update. So if you watched my upcoming 2020 middle grade releases that I'm excited about video, you will have already seen this. But I was kindly sent a proof copy of a book that I'm so excited to read in 2020. And that is A Spring of Sorcery by Michelle Harrison. I got this absolutely gorgeous proof copy of it. I mean, you're probably already sick of saying this because I showed it off in the 2020 middle grades video. But if you haven't already seen, this is the sequel to A Pinch of Magic, which is literally one of my favourite 2019 middle grade books. And Michelle Harrison also kindly signed this as well. It is a limited edition proof. There are only 100 in the world and I have the 27th. Yeah, this is just genuinely such an amazing, amazing gift and what a perfect way to end this kind of opening presents video. I still don't know what I'm going to call this and because I don't have any vlogs coming this month I didn't want to delete any of the footage of me opening the presents that you guys have given me and I just yeah I just I, I genuinely from the bottom and from the middle and from the top of my heart thank you so much to everybody who sent me something. Absolutely nobody has to send me anything, just a kind Merry Christmas or just well wishes or the messages that you guys leave me on every single video is present enough. 
thank you so much just for all of the support for my first year on booktube i just it, it means the world to me and i just can't get over still how much you guys have accepted me and again i know i'm gushing again and i need to stop doing this but I, I I just don't know what I did to deserve such amazing people and such amazing friends in my life. I consider all of you just so near and dear to me and yeah. So I should probably go before I start crying. <laughs> I just, yeah, like honestly, to everyone who sent me something, thank you. To everyone who didn't send me something, you don't have to, you genuinely don't have to. Um, like thank you so much to everyone, just, uh, just everyone, like seriously, like Oh, you've taken your time out of your day to watch a video that I've put on or, you know, just anything and oh, just your presence and your friendship is present enough for me. So thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. And this will probably be one of my last videos before New Year. So I just want to wish all of you guys a very Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, a very happy holiday. Just an amazing New Year. So I just hope 2020 will be the year that we will all be happy and just all be... I'm finding it very hard to, for words right now, but yeah, I just hope we're all happy in 2020. That's that's the main thing I want. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a little like if you enjoyed and leave a little comment down below. I'd love to chat to you guys. Always, always love to chat to you. And I will see you in the next video. So Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye.